It's unbelievable how many places the Google Streetcar drives through that many of us would certainly think twice about going to. The person driving those cars better be ready to see some pretty crazy things and to drive through some sketchy neighborhoods. You have to wonder what goes on inside the driver's head while they're driving down some of the most dangerous streets in the world. Today we're going to take a look at Google Street Life, y'all. But first, we're glad you guys enjoyed some of our recent zombie videos. Today we're going to do just a little bit of urban exploring on Google Street View. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for new videos every day. Number 12, 1580 CL9, Bogota. If you're looking at beautiful photos of Colombia, it certainly might seem like a place you'd want to travel to. There's plenty of rainforests, tropical beaches along the Caribbean, and so on. But for some, this beautiful paradise is a whole lot scarier. The levels of pollution and homelessness would make anyone want to turn their flight around and head somewhere else. This area we're looking at shows people wandering the streets of El Guavio, south of the city center of Bogota. Walls are ridden with graffiti, and it's known for housing some of the toughest Colombian gangsters in the capital city. Google Streetcar probably kept a closer eye in his rearview mirror while driving down this street. Number 11, Detroit City. Not only are there an abundance of creepy abandoned places, this is also the arson capital of the world. So don't be surprised if you come across some bird buildings here. As you explore through this city of urban decay, you might not realize at first glance that some places are abandoned until you look behind some of the trees that have grown in front of them. In the neighborhood of Ravendale, two out of every three houses are abandoned. Some sources even claim that you can buy an entire house here for $100. It's chilling to see how some of the gardens are well kept right next to the ones that have become simply out of control. The neighborhood of Northwest Goldberg was once quite prosperous at one point in time, but all you see now are graffiti buildings and abandoned houses. It almost seems as though this city will never be the bustling motor city it once was. Number 10, Complexo do Almao. Despite being home to the 2016 Olympics, Brazil really hasn't cleaned up its act and is still quite a dangerous place for tourists. The beautiful Copacabana Beach is a long stretch of white sand, exotic women, and quite a bit of sunshine. But to the northwest of this massive city in Brazil, you'll find one of the most dangerous places in the world right now. The favelas that have sprung up in this neighborhood would seem to show some of the poor conditions of the entire world where crime riddles the streets. Police won't even come to these parts of town, but guess who will? That's right, the Google Streetcar. We challenge you guys to spot someone here who is not wearing flip-flops. Even this guy on a motorbike is still flip-flopped up. Street life has taken over in these crime-riddled areas, and we hope the Google Streetcar made it out okay. Number 9, Camden, New Jersey. On Lewis Street, it appears as though the apocalypse has finally struck, and graffiti has become the most obvious form of self-expression here. If you have the time to read what some of the graffiti says here, you'll certainly get an idea of some of the hardships the residents of this place must go through to survive. Here, 42% of the population live below the poverty line and make essentially three times less than the average household in New Jersey. Some of the houses might look nice at first glance, but you'll realize they're mostly boarded up and abandoned. Number 8, Little Haiti. Florida is the fourth highest populated state, but it also contains more dangerous cities than any other state, including California, New York City, and Texas. So it should come to no surprise that Miami makes it on our list. One of the more street-like parts of Miami is no other than Little Haiti, which is home to the notorious Zopound Gang. Here we see one of the most street houses on the block at 4800 Northwest 2nd Street. As you explore this area, you'll notice many of the houses are sporting bars on the windows to prevent theft. One of the main reasons it might be tough to drive here is because of the trafficking that flows through the streets. Google Streetcar made it through some rough parts despite the possible dangers. About 96% of cities in the U.S. are safer than Miami. Miami Beach was home to 897 violent crimes in 2015. Make sure to stay vigilant, folks. Number 7. Las Tres Mil Viviendas This street in Spain almost appears to be anything besides a utopia, so it kind of makes you curious how it got that name. Some of the graffiti on the walls would make you wonder if anyone takes pride in the appearance of the community. This is how street life looks in Europe, y'all. 
You can find more trash in this area than people, and the area known as Las Tres Mil Viviendas is considered to be about as rough as it gets in Western Europe. Some have considered this area to be completely lawless, with even police officers getting in on the mayhem. This is due to massive unemployment rates in the area, and even postmen will turn back. But Google Streetcar must be played with armor or something, because once again, they make it through just fine. Much of the housing is low budget to put it in a nice way and cover with spray paint. Number 6. East LA Los Angeles is known for their fancy movie studios and beautiful beaches, but LA is also the possible original location of street life. We're going to go ahead and use Google Streetcars to show us that. You can get an idea of what life is like down here by checking out San Pedro Street in an area that's home to over 6,000 homeless. Here we see people lined up in front of a medical clinic hoping to get some kind of payment. You can simply skim around and see how many people are out on the streets as opposed to living in homes, and gangs may have taken over. Some have made tents, and it's clear the city needs to do something about this. Artwork here typically comes in the form of street art, and you can see here on Crocker Street a good example. Number 5. East St. Louis East St. Louis was once the fourth largest city in Illinois, and on the other side of the Mississippi River is the beautiful St. Louis Arc. But over the years, people from this town in the Midwest have fled their homes, mostly due to economic hardship. The city is beginning to resemble a ghost town and has one of the highest murder rates in the country. But now if you begin to explore this creepy place on Google Earth, you'll notice how many abandoned buildings there are, empty parking lots, and very few cars driving on the streets. But guess who's driving though? That's right. The once bustling Collinsville Avenue is now tagged up and the buildings are beginning to rot. As you're scrolling through here, you're just wondering to yourself, where the heck is everyone? Some of the wealthier looking houses seem to also have that creepy Victorian age architecture to it or just have some downright spooky looking trees. Number 4. Rebendova, Slovakia There are places in Eastern Europe which are entirely run by gypsies and street life is just a way to survive. They often put their kids to work at a very young age and teach them to steal, sell their children in the marriage, cheat, and do what they gotta do. With a large Roma community in Slovakia, some neighborhoods can have up to 100% unemployment rate. These people live without essentials such as gas, water, and heating. We see some creepy murals on the wall in this area, and we're sure it livens up the mood just a tad. Google Streetcar seems to be getting quite a bit of attention while it's driving through here. With children not being supervised and all over the street, Google better pay attention to not run over anyone. For these children, street life has chosen them and not the other way around. Number 3. Caraballo District, Peru Many of us here in the U.S. might take paved roads for granted, but unpaved roads seem to be the norm here. Although parts of the area are paved, with the threat of landslides pretty much at any time, that can change in a matter of minutes. Wealth isn't typically divided fairly among different classes in South America from a result of various factors. Although Peru is a country that is fairly rich in natural resources, many of them are controlled by foreign corporations which make it difficult for the local population to survive. This region seems to be rather industrial with many garages and parts of cars left over. You might also come across some stray animals. Political instability has led to corruption of wealth and we're looking at the result right here. Living conditions appear to be less than desirable and all we can do is hope for the best. Number 2. Facolteta, Sofia Old Bulgaria sports many attractions that travelers want to check out. Just like every other country in the world, it's home to some tougher neighborhoods. As we travel the eastern part of Sofia, we come across a neighborhood that might be a no-go zone for many people, but not the Google Streetcar. It's still there, driving around, taking photos, much to the surprise of the locals. The conditions here appear to be unsanitary to say the least, and getting a job isn't easy. Many will resort to legal ways in order to get money, and many Bulgarians are shocked by the infrastructure here. Some will refer to this area as a ghetto due to the large population of Turkish and Roma settlers. And number 1. Oakland, California Oakland has got a pretty bad reputation in the Bay Area, and for a good reason. Violent crime is roughly five times more likely in this town, and don't get us started on the amount of property destruction which is prevalent throughout the city. Many will suggest that you should certainly not stick around too late after a Raiders game at the Coliseum. Car theft happens to about one out of every 40 residents, so this brings up a challenge for the Google Streetcar, which is equipped with a pretty expensive 3D60 camera. The area we're in now is rumored to be one of the rougher neighborhoods of Oakland, and we can probably imagine that not everyone wants to get put on the internet for everyone to see. 
This car we found here seems to be all about the street life on Pablo Avenue and is sporting a new paint job. Many of the walls have been decorated as well by amateur artists, whether it's legal or illegal. Some of these murals seem to portray fairly deep messages as well.